Hey, Assalamu alaikum. Hope everyone is doing well. Inshallah, welcome back to the next module of the Ramadan Marketing Playbook. In this module, we're going to be diving deeper into social media strategies. And what we've actually done is, based on months and months and hours and hours of research and brainstorming sessions, we've identified 20 very interesting and creative content pillars when it comes to social media. Now, again, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed that you have to use all of these 20 pillars but the idea is that we're sharing these 20 different strategies with you so you can kind of pick and choose what's interesting and what may work for your community. But again, the idea here is that we're creating something unique and what we call as pattern interrupts because these are something different that people typically don't see on social media as the types of postings. And the idea behind these postings is, again, we're getting away from treating our social media as a virtual bulletin board. We're getting away from always asking for donations or some sort of call to action. And we're positioning our social media as a value source. Again, if you position your social media as a place of value, people will want to consume your content. They're not going to be turned away because there is no ulterior motives or ulterior direction that's happening. So with that, we're going to dive right in. So the first one that we have is we call these the emoji story series. Now, the idea with this post is we're going to create a post and the post is going to have a series of emojis and we're going to ask our community to identify what are we talking about. So for example, you may create an emoji talking about or having, for example, the emoji of the Kaaba, a camel, a mountain, a spider's web, and a pigeon's egg. Again, what we're doing here is we're emojifying the blessed story of the Hijrah. So get creative. Look at, the, for example, the Sirah or even your organization's history and see how can we come up with creative emojis, post it, and have our community try to guess what we're talking about. The very interesting thing about these is there may be multiple meanings. And you're going to see a lot of comments coming in, people engaging back and forth and trying to understand, well, I think this means this or I think this means this. So the idea here is people are spending more time on your post, they're commenting, we're boosting engagement, and more importantly, we're telling the algorithms that our content is unique and we're going to encourage our people to participate more and engage with our posting. Tip number two, we call these the emoji response series. So completely different from tip number one, but here what we're doing is in our post, we're having our folks answer with an emoji. So we're asking them a question. So for example, we may ask them that using emojis only, what are three things that you are grateful for, right? That's a good one. Another one that I really like is, so for example, again, just connecting it back to our blessed Prophet Sallallahu is using emojis. If you could spend five minutes with the Prophet Sallallahu what would you talk to him about? Right, so it's, it's, again, these are pattern interrupts. The idea is to get people to unplug and hit them with something very unique. And using, you know, modern day tools and technologies, again, like emojis, different types of thing and connecting it back to our blessed sacred tradition. Tip number three, we call this the on this day post. So here what we're doing is we're focusing on the organization's history. So we're looking at, for example, recalling events, milestones, great strides that may have happened within our organization's history and sharing them with our users. So for example, when we started, why we started, what was our purpose, major milestones that may have happened. For example, a time when a, one of our founding fathers, for example, passed away within the community. Maybe pioneers that came by, certain scholars that may have visited our organization. The beautiful thing with these type of series is you're bringing light back into the organization. You're sharing that with your users and you're tapping into your own rich history. And showing that, for example, this is not an organization that just exists, but we're here for a purpose. We're solving a problem in the marketplace. We're addressing an issue that may exist within our community. Tip number four, the countdown series. So believe it or not, this is actually one of my favorite. So with the countdown series, what we're doing is we're pairing a countdown timer with a simple call to action. But the call to action is something unique. It's not your typical sign up today or donate, but this is more personal. And here the idea is you could create a simple animation or even a simple design that has the statement listed. And again, it could be anything. So for example, 
One could be spend the next 30 seconds, close your eyes, and make a dua for your parents. Or again, another one connecting it back to our Blessed Prophet ﷺ could be spend the next 30 seconds and imagine you are sitting with the Prophet ﷺ in Medina Munawwara. Imagine that feeling. Right? So again, these are great and tremendous pattern intros because again, you don't typically see this type of stuff on social media. And it's forcing someone to take action. But again, you're not asking them for anything. You're not asking them for money. You're not asking them to support a particular cause or donate or sign up. You're positioning your social media as a place that's bringing them tremendous amount of value. Tip number five. So this one's a little bit more on a serious note. This one is called the Public Service Announcement Series. So again, we're using social media to inspire a community, but we can also use social media to bring awareness to particular topics that maybe our community needs to hear about. So for example, you may want to talk about the topic of domestic abuse, obesity, mental health, different types of um, child abuse or different types of things that may be happening, not just in our community, but within our country or greater community. And here, again, you can share facts, figures, statistics. But more importantly, what I would recommend is you also bring it back to our tradition. Again, you're positioning these content pillars with the alignment of Ramadan so that way you can have a, a bigger impact. And I would also say, too, is more importantly, use the idea of becoming a better person or a better community in Ramadan, you know, inculcating the prophetic community. And how can we minimize or completely eradicate, you know, the issue of domestic violence from our community? So sharing a lot of these tips and techniques. Point number six, we call these the Crack the Riddle series. So this one is very interesting because we're using riddles on social media to have our community take action and to engage with our post and try to identify and try to solve the riddle, right? So for example, a riddle that we came up with is, leave me and you will never find God's treasure. Learn from me and you will attain God's pleasure. Who am I? So in this particular one, the answer is the Quran. So the idea is to be able to share a series of riddles and get our community to try to participate and try to solve the riddles. But then now take it a step further. Ask your community to create riddles within this post. So comment and ask a riddle and encourage our own community to try to solve it. Again, the idea here is, you know, we're using our social media to be able to generate user-generated content and to encourage other people to participate within our postings. Tip number seven memes. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen a ton of this, but we're not talking about cat memes or any of those types. Rather, there's unique things that happen within your community. Maybe someone in leadership says something unique or something often. Maybe someone before they ask for a donation, they say a particular phrase. Or maybe when someone gets to do the announcements, they say a particular phrase before they make their announcement. So the idea here is to create a meme out of this, something that's more personalized to your community. But again, the two most important things here is make sure you're respectful. You're not going out of line. And number two, that you have the person's permission to be able to use that content. And I would encourage you to use this sparingly, not too often, because again, you want to keep that balance between the seriousness and the lightheartedness. Tip number eight, we call these the habit building series. So again, the idea with Ramadan is it's a complete unplug. You're entering into a completely new time in your life of the year where you're going to be spending the next 30 days fasting. So why don't we use social media as a place where we can also encourage that? So for example, for example, you may say, what are three things you want to be able to champion this Ramadan? Three things that you want to become, that you want to become part of your identity. So for example, one could be, you know, being able to pray Fajr on time being able to continuously give charity, no matter how small the amount, even if it's $1 or $2. Or another one could be, for example, uh, eating healthy, right? So create a design, create a series of posts towards the beginning of the month of Ramadan, maybe even a few days before Ramadan, asking your community to identify what are your big three things, your habit changes that you want to do in Ramadan. Now, throughout the Ramadan, what you're going to do is maybe every few days, 
maybe once or twice during the first 10 days, the second 10 days, the third set, you're going to be asking your community. You're going to be checking in, right? So imagine you create a design with like a little progress bar and asking your community, okay, where's your check-in? How are you doing? Are you sticking to it? If you're slipping, don't worry. It's going to take time. It's going to take commitment. But the biggest thing is to stay consistent. So creating series of designs like that, which encourages a community to become better people and encourages them to even take action. Tip number nine, we call these the Ihsani standard series. So the idea between the Ihsani series is here, we're inculcating the charity movement, the aspect of giving. Because again, giving is a very important part of Ramadan. So we want to be able to create a series of designs that encourages giving even to our organizations, but also to other organizations as well, to local humanitarian efforts, to women shelters, to maybe victims of domestic violence or abuse, victims of natural disasters across the globe, right? So identify those organizations, share their links, and encourage users to donate. It shows to the users that you're not just about yourself all the time as institutions, that we're not just saying, hey, donate to us, but we're bringing awareness to the greater good and the greater causes that exist within the community. Tip number 10, historic event series. So for example, here what we're doing is we're sharing historical events that took place within our Islamic history and sharing them with the users. So for example, and these could be kind of a series of like on this day series. So for example, in Ramadan, the Battle of Badr takes place. In Ramadan was the night of power. In Ramadan is when the Quran was revealed. In Ramadan, or not, for example, in Ramadan, but during this Gregorian time frame on the calendar, maybe there could be historic events that took place within your organization or within our Islamic tradition in general as well. So the idea is to be able to create designs and series around this and share this with our users as well. Tip number 11, we call these a prophetic teaching series. So in this particular content pillar, what we're doing is we're creating a series of designs, videos, animations that tie into the prophetic teaching. So teachings of the Blessed Prophet wasallam, different types of acts of sunnahs, how, for example, to interact with strangers, family, children, your parents, community members, sharing different teachings of the Blessed Prophet ﷺ, even when it comes to dealing with the poor, you know, different types of sunnah acts, different duas, how to act as community members within society. So the idea behind the prophetic teaching series is to be able to share those valuable insights with our greater community. Tip number 12, this one's interesting. We call this the brain quiz. So the idea here is, as you've probably seen on social media, especially when it comes to Instagram and Facebook stories, quizzes are a very interesting thing. And everyone typically likes to participate in these multiple choice options. Or it could even be a free form type thing. The idea here is, again, these are postings where users are engaging with your content. So for example, you may create a simple quiz asking, what month of the year is Ramadan? And there could even be quizzes around your organization. For example, what year was the organization founded? What year did we bring on our first staff member? What year was our school established? So sharing content like this helps drive a lot of awareness and engagement. And again, you could take this a step further and even there's events and milestones that are happening within Ramadan. So for example, if you're a masjid, there's going to be certain surahs that are being recited on a nightly basis in Ramadan. So imagine creating an Instagram quiz series about asking your community what juz or what particular surah is going to be recited tonight. Take it a step further. From this particular surah that's going to be recited tonight, what's one verse that really resonates with you? Right. So again, taking it a step further, using the momentum the timeline of Ramadan to create content that's going to provide value and have your users engage with your content and create that awareness. Tip number 13, we call this the Heart Out Loud series. So a few of those series that we have, they're interesting because we use these as user-generated content. So what we're doing is we're kind of like using a prompt to get our community to engage with the content and provide feedback, provide ideas. So this one's very interesting because this one, you can you can position it as, for example, you can create a post saying, ask your community, so mention someone who's touched you. 
or created, inspired you to take action, inspired you to become a better person, living or not living. So it could even be a historical figure. The beautiful thing is if it's a living person, someone who's on social media, tag that person, make a dua for that person, explain or mention why they mean so much to you, how they inspired you, how they made you become a better person. So this one's very interesting. Tip number 14, special moments. So again, building on the user-generated content, you're asking your community to talk about a special moment, especially within this Ramadan. So maybe a moment that you had with Iftar with your family or a moment that when you were in school or in your workplace and someone asked you about what is this fasting thing that you're doing and you had a moment to share something with them. Or it may be a moment where you felt that you were getting angry and you controlled yourself because you realized you're fasting. So you're asking your community to share these moments and comment on these types of postings and share. So again, this is another of the user-generated content. So these could be a great value add for your organization. Tip number 15, the motivational post. So this one's a common one that we typically see on social media. But the idea is, again, in Ramadan, we're sharing tips and we're motivating our community to become better people. And again, these could be more focused on, for example, we know that in every community, there are people that are away from their families, that they're doing Ramadan because they may be working, they're here for jobs, they're maybe students. So sharing moments, motivating them on that sense, motivating people to become better Muslims, motivating people to become greater community leaders, better activists. So creating content pillar that almost inspires and motivates your community. Tip number 16, we call these Guess the Picture series. So again, here we can use both aspects. We may, we may want to share religious items and we may want to share organization historic items too. So for example, you may post a picture of the mountain of Hira or the, uh, the caves um, or different historical events that may have happened or historical pictures, a picture of Medina Munawara from a certain time frame. And what you're doing is you're asking your users to guess what this picture is. Guess when this picture was from or maybe where this picture is of. That's from the Islamic side. Now, from your own organization side, you could share old historical pictures of, for example, your building, your masjid, your school, and ask your community to guess when did this happen. Maybe you're sharing a picture of your first president or first person from leadership within your organization and asking your community to also guess when this happened. So it could be based on Islam. It could be based on your organization's history. It could be a picture of the actual building itself. Or, or the other idea, too, is you can also incorporate individuals. Guess who this particular person is and what they did for the organization and why they were so important and such a tremendous person within our community. Tip number 17, name game. So the idea here is we're sharing a historical figure from our tradition, from our history, and asking our community to tell us who this person is and why they're so important. So for example, and I would avoid the common ones that inshallah everyone knows about, uh, but maybe individuals that are not as common. Right, but again, they they should be. You should have basic information about these. So, for example, who is Sayyidina Ayub Ansari? Why is he such an important person in Islamic tradition? What did he do that was so special with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Right. So, again, the name game could be using names of historical figures within our tradition, but then it all could also be historical figures within our institutions. So, again, someone maybe from your leadership team someone who may have been a pioneer within your society, someone maybe that be a pioneer within Islam in America or Islam in your own country. You know, So sharing these types of interesting things can be a use, another great way to get user-generated content going and get more comments and shares and likes happening. Tip number 18, healthy eating series. So this one you can take in two ways. So the idea behind healthy eating series is A, we're able to share very healthy recipes, especially during the time of Ramadan. Because Ramadan, one thing we've noticed from a lot of the content that we've come across is this is a great time to start inculcating healthy habits and being able to share recipes, one, but then two, asking your users, asking your community 
to share healthy recipes. So for example, asking your community, what's a healthy breakfast to have during Suhoor time? Or what is a healthy way to break your fast? For example, if someone who is working out, right? What's a healthy meal you should be consuming during Suhoor and Iftar to not lose your muscle mass, for example? So using uh, the idea of healthy eating and creating a series around healthy eating. Tip number 19, we call these the relationship series. So the idea with the relationship series is to be able to share tips on relationship advice. And again, tying this back to our tradition. So how did the Prophet ﷺ interact with his wives, right? Sharing those inspirations, sharing those stories. How do we in Islam interact with our children? How do we interact with our community members, with our parents, right? Bringing light to maybe certain sayings of the Prophet ﷺ and creating a content pillar centered around relationships. Because again, everything boils down to relationships. Whether it's relationship with your children, your family, your community, and even your students. Uh, last but not least, tip number 20. We call this the guess the date. So for example, the idea here is to share a series of designs and postings and ask a community to guess when this happened. So again, we may be sharing an old photo, an old video that may have happened, and we're asking our community to try to guess when this happened. But more importantly, take it a step further. What lessons can you draw from the content that's being shared? So maybe we're, this is the date the, when the original building of our masjid went up. But more importantly, did you know that this was the first time a masjid went up within a 50 to 100 mile radius of this community? This is the first time because of this masjid going up, we had community members relocate to our community. So taking it a step deeper and building more upon this. So that wraps up the 20 ideas for the 20 creative social media posts. Again, the idea is you do not have to create and build content that's on all 20 of these, but identify from these 20 based on your community, what do you feel would resonate? And then use some of these content pillars to be able to push out content, especially in Ramadan, but more importantly, position your content even outside of Ramadan to A, generate that user-generated content, create that awareness, create that engagement, create the likes, create the shares. Because again, you wanna position your outlets on social media as a place where your content is truly share-worthy. Time to level up.